Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Sabah, over the demise of Her Highness Sheikh Aisha bin Salman Al Khalifa, praying Allah the Almighty to rest her soul in eternal peace. His Majesty the King also received two similar cables from the Kuwaiti Crown Prince, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, and the Kuwaiti Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Jabr Al Mubarak Al Hamad Al Sabah. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from Chechnyan President Ramzan Kadyrov over the demise of the wife of His Highness Sheikh Ibrahim bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Her Highness Sheikh Aisha bin Salman Al Khalifa, may God rest her soul in eternal peace. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received a telephone call today in which he expressed sincere condolences from Kuwait's Crown Prince, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, over the demise of His Royal Highness, the Premier's sister, Her Highness Sheikh Aisha bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. May God rest her soul in eternal peace. His Royal Highness the Premier expressed utmost appreciation to the Kuwaiti Crown Prince for his noble feelings which reflect the depth of the solid relations between the two countries, wishing Kuwait durable progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received a telephone call from Kuwait's Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Jabr Al Mubarak Al Hamad Al Sabah, in which he expressed sincere condolences over the demise of His Royal Highness, the Premier's sister, and His Highness she Her Highness Sheikha Aisha bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. May God rest her soul in eternal peace. His Royal Highness, the Premier, expressed utmost appreciation for his Kuwaiti counterpart's noble feelings that reflect the depth of the solid relations between the two countries, wishing Kuwait continuous progress and prosperity. On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Educational Charitable Trust, today arrived in the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan to attend the World Economic Forum on the Middle East and North Africa. His Royal Highness Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah II, the Crown Prince of the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan, welcomed His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa at the Queen Alia International Airport. Upon his arrival, his Highness Sheikh Isa highlighted the long-standing ties between the two kingdoms and recognized the important role WEF plays in strengthening global economic cooperation and achieving sustainable development goals. Shura Council's Financial and Economic Affairs Committee participated in a joint meeting with the Representative Councils and the Government's Financial and Economic Committees. The Shura Council Financial and Economic Affairs Committee, chaired by Chairman Khalid Hussain Al Masqati, called for enhancing the role of the private sector in the national economy and providing an attractive investment environment and enhancing government services governing the sector. Taking into consideration the government service fees determination within the limits of the cost and quality sought by people. For his part, Representative Council's head of the Financial and Economic Affairs Committee, Ali Ishaqi, that uh, the committee has submitted over 30 inquiries to ministries and government bodies on the draft law approving the general budget of the state for the fiscal years 2019 to 2020, relevant to Decree 19 of the year 2019. He noted that the committee is finalizing its final report on the budget bill's draft law. During the meeting between the committees, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, the Minister of Information and the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, as Haqi noted that there, there are many sectors that should be taken advantage of, referring to the tourism sector and activating educational tourism and sports sectors in Bahrain. The committee discussed the details of the Ministry of Commerce, Industry and Tourism Revenues with its Minister Zayed bin Rashid Al Zayani, where he presented detailed figures related to the Ministry's contributions to the economic growth of the Kingdom and the repercussions of increasing the fees of the commercial sector on economy. The Representatives Council's committee also highlighted the need to find a plan to increase revenues of the Ministry of Information through the development of its production and investment projects. 
His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, delegated the advisor to His Majesty the King for Youth and Sports Affairs, Saleh Isa bin Hindi Al Nai, to attend the opening ceremony of the 12th Regional Sports Tournament in Bahrain. The tournament is held in the international schools of Shwefat. In the presence of the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman bin Tawfiq al Mu'ayyad, and a number of deputies and guests. Al Minai delivered a speech at the opening ceremony, welcoming students to the kingdom and expressed appreciation for Al Shwefat School's efforts in the preparation and organization of the tournament for his part. Al Mu'ayyad noted that the tournament is one of the most important school events taking place in Bahrain, which aims to enhance the role of school students in enriching the sports movement which is in line with the vision of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The executive uh, vice president of Sanabis Group, uh, Victor Saad, praised uh, the patronage of His Highness for the tournament held in Bahrain. The ceremony included a number of shows of the participating teams and the Ministry of Interior's music band, as well as a number of performances by the students and uh, students of schools, uh, Sabis and Shwefat. The tournament involves 25 schools from the Shwefat International School Group from 13 countries around the world. Under the patronage of the President of the Mother and Child Welfare Society, Chairperson of the Board of Trustees of the Women and Children Information Center, Sheikh Hind bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Women and Children Information Center held yesterday the award-winning ceremony of the Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa Scientific Award for the 11th year of 2019. Sheikh Hind Al Khalifa noted that the current efforts are headed toward child and childhood care, as well as providing the best means to achieve a safe, stable childhood free of complications, discrimination, problems, and violence in all its forms. She stressed on the importance of the award in consolidating and uh, disseminating the achievements of intellectuals, researchers, and specialists in the field of women and children in the Arab world, the Gulf region, and Bahrain. The Ministry of Information Affairs mourns the death of news acting director Ahmed Jabr Zwayed, who passed away yesterday at the age of 45. The deceased, who was born in Muharraq on February 9, 1974, is holder of a bachelor's degree in media from the University of Bahrain. The deceased started his professional career at the Department of Information Exchange at the News Center in November 1997. He was promoted as head of the department in the year 2014 after serving as supervisor. In 2017, the Minister of Information Affairs issued an edict appointing him as news acting director, a position he held until his death. 